Hello, I'm Dr. Riley, and today we are going to go over the upper extremities. Let's start with the humerus. The first thing you absolutely have to know is whether or not you have the left or the right. So what I would advise is you look for the head, and then you actually put it into your own shoulder, or you go to the nearest skeleton, and you put it in, and you'll be able to determine if you have the left or right. And as you can see, we have the right. Again, this is your patient's right, not your right. So we'll lay it on the table so that it is facing anteriorly. The easiest thing to recognize is the head of the humerus. And of course, underneath the head, you will have a neck. This is the anatomical neck. And then this would be the surgical neck where it is often broken. Up here, you will see a bump. This is the greater tubercle. A little bit towards you is the lesser tubercle. And as you would expect, in between would be the intertubercular groove. This is where the biceps tendon comes through, and you can actually feel it. Coming down the shaft, there is a little bump, which would be the deltoid tuberosity where the deltoid fits in. Coming further down on your medial side is the medial epicondyle, the lateral epicondyle. Moving in, we have the capitulum, which is a rounded knob, and the capitulum reminds me of a capital. That's how I remember it, because it's got a round top on it. The trochlea, the trochlea fits with the ulnar's trochlear notch, comes right in to here. This on the ulna is the coronoid. Well, on the humerus, you have the coronoid fossa and a radial fossa where the radius fits in. So again, we have the medial epicondyle, the lateral epicondyle, the radial fossa, the coronoid fossa, where the coronoid fits in. We have the trochlea, where the trochlear notch is going to fit in. Let's turn this around and take a quick look at the back. Now, of course, the medial side has changed. We have the medial epicondyle, the lateral epicondyle, and now we have the olecranon fossa, where the olecranon of the ulna is going to fit in. Next, we're going to take a look at the ulna and the radius. The ulna is easy to distinguish because of its U for ulna.